Do you want to earn millions of gold in the Elder Scrolls Online and only have to invest minutes a day in playing time? Sure you do. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Halix and today I'm going to teach you how to get rich using the free armory station that Sauce introduced in Update 32. Now the armory system is a new base game system which allows players to save, customize, and load builds all from the comfort of their own house or via an armory assistant. Every player gets two free armory slots where you can put your champion points, your attribute allocation, your skill bars, your gear pieces, your outfit for the build, and also a curse, either werewolf or vampire. But the most important thing that I will stress is skill points. I'll get back to that in a second. Zoss figures most players will have one loadout for PvE, player versus environment, and one loadout for PvP, player versus player. But since PvP is hopelessly laggy and broken, that seems unlikely to be the choice for many people. Now maybe the designers think that players will use one slot for solo play and the second slot for group adventures. It's a possibility, I suppose, but for me, the difference between group and solo play is wearing the Ring of the Pale Order and a Slime Cry Helm rather than a two-piece monster set so it's pretty easy to swap out. My advice to you, my friends, is have one loadout for fighting and one for crafting. Here's why. The armory station lets you reallocate your skill points for free, and that is huge. CP and champion points don't really matter. Attributes, who cares? Outfit style, completely meaningless. Gear set, screw that. It's all about the skill points, baby, and if you dump all 165 skill points into crafting, you are going to get rich. It's always been difficult, especially for new players, to sacrifice skill points and put them into crafting. You needed your skill points for fighting and for your passives. For that reason alone, crafting was the redheaded stepchild, only getting a few measly skill points here and there. The armory system changes all that. The hirelings alone will bring you resources daily worth thousands of gold. On your crafter loadout, you'll be able to research three items at once in each of the separate disciplines. I really can't express what a windfall this is, and you should jump on it before Zoss changes its mind on skill points. People ask me if it's worth it to spend 5,000 crowns on the armory assistant. That seems like a total ripoff to me. It's one click to get back to your house and to your armory station. Now, if you were allowed to use the assistant in trials and arenas and PvP, you could make an argument for buying the assistant. But Zoss doesn't allow that, so I say screw it. Is it worth it to buy an additional slot for 1,500 crowns? I'm not, but that's really up to you. 1,500 crowns also buys an additional outfit slot, and fashion and housing are the real end game, so maybe that one is worth it. I'm not sure. I do make sure that my crafter is wearing no outfit, and my fighter has the cool outfit. That way I can easily distinguish them and switch as necessary depending on what I'm doing in the game. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.